Has this ever happened to you? You got a great round going and the ball comes to rest in the one location that you never practiced and all of a sudden, two minutes later, the round is completely lost? Well, the good news is, is today we're gonna fix that. We're gonna talk about three specific shots. A high soft flop shot, a fairway bunker shot, and getting out of the trees. And we're gonna help you understand how to navigate those situations so you can keep that good round going. We have all had that frustrating time where you got the round of your life going and all of a sudden the ball comes to rest in a fairway bunker or a high soft flop shot and you dump it into the bunker and before you know it, the round is completely lost. It drives you crazy as a golfer. Well, we're gonna fix that today. Now, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to leave a comment or if there's a specific shot on the golf of course that's just really derailing your rounds let me know and we'll do some content on it and we'll help you figure that out so be sure to subscribe and be sure to comment now we're going to talk about three shots here the first one is a high soft shot the high flop shot now you can even see kind of from down the line here this is kind of a scary shot now it's scary because i got the bunker here the green is elevated the pin is tight but if you understand these three concepts that we're going to talk about you can navigate this so concept number one is you got to grab a club with its most loft on it so i've got a 58 degree so i've got that and i'm going to actually rotate the face slightly open the loft on the club the extra rotation will give me more loft to get that ball up nice and high and soft now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna position the ball basically in the center of my stance with my weight just a little bit forward. So the ball's in the center, my weight's a little bit forward, and as we've already talked about, the club face is slightly rotated open. Now the last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a nice, big, long, smooth swing and let that club just slide right underneath the ball. So here we go, I got my 58, rotate, ball in the center, a little lean left, Nice big full swing. That ball pops up super nice and high and I can now navigate that shot. Now I've done other videos. All right, I've done other videos that dive real deep into the chipping technique. You can check those out if you want more information. But right now, we gotta move to the next shot. The scariest shot in golf probably for golfers and that is the fairway bunker shot. So the ball comes to rest in the bunker. All right, we gotta figure out how to navigate this. I'm gonna give you three things that you can do to get this ball out and get it down the fairway or onto the green or wherever it needs to be. So here's the three things. Number one is you wanna grab one more club than you would normally grab. And I'm gonna talk about that in a second, but what do I mean by that? So this yard is, I'm just trying to lay this ball up right now. All I'm trying to do is lay it up over the water, get it back out there somewhere into the fairway, somewhere into play. So normally the distance that I'd wanna hit the shot from the grass would be an eight iron. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit a seven iron. And we're gonna talk a little bit about why we do that in a second. So that's tip number one. If the yardage calls for an eight iron, grab the seven iron. All right, now next up, what you're gonna do is you're gonna move the ball slightly back in the stance. Now we've talked a lot about ball position with the irons in other videos that we've done. If you got specific questions on that, check, take a look at those and check them out. But with this particular shot, fairway bunker shot, we're gonna move the ball so it's a little bit more back, so it's more in the center of your stance. The second thing you're gonna do in the setup is you're gonna choke down on the club just ever so slightly. So I've got a little bit more club the ball's in the center of my stance, and I'm choking down on it just ever so slightly. Now, when it comes to the swing, two concepts you gotta understand. Number one is you want the swing to be three-quarter length. Three-quarter back, three-quarter through, all right? And then the last thing is you wanna keep the chest, feel like your chest and your head stay a little bit tall, because the concept here, the idea, is to catch the ball first before hitting the sand. So, Three concepts we gotta understand. More club, ball back a little bit, okay, staying tall, three quarter swing, and if I do that, I can get that ball out, get it back into play on the green, and I can continue to move forward. So next up, we gotta talk about the ball that finishes in the middle of the trees. How are we gonna navigate that situation? All right, so the ball comes to rest in the trees, not a difficult shot, not a difficult shot if you understand a couple concepts. Number one, you gotta grab a club, obviously that's got a little less loft on it, right? Because I gotta get this ball underneath the trees. So I'm not gonna grab a wedge. Even if it's only 100 yards, all right? I see people do this all the time. It's 100 yards, so they grab a pitching wedge and they hit the ball right into the middle of the tree. So that's tip number one, super easy, super obvious, but I'm telling you, a lot of you out there might be making that mistake. All right, what about the actual swing? Well, here's what you're gonna do. 
We're going to move the ball back a little bit in the stance. Similar. Remember what we did in the fairway bunker? We moved that ball back a little bit. Same deal here. When you're set in here, we're going to move that ball back more towards the middle of the stance a little bit. That will help our contact. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to choke down on the club a little bit. I like to choke down on it. And very similar to the fairway bunker shot, we're going to make a swing at about three quarter length and three quarter speed. So what you're finding here is that this shot out of the trees, like a basic punch shot, is very similar to a fairway bunker shot. There's a lot of similarities between those two. So let's grab a club with a little less loft. We're going to move that ball back in the stance. We're going to make a three quarter length swing. So next time you head to the golf course, there is no reason to be fearful of the flop shot, the fairway bunker shot, or the shot of the trees because you now have some advice and some tips on how to navigate those situations.